Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 23rd, 2022. If you'd like to support the channel, we're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ and if you can see for in general for 2022, we have been making lower highs, indicating that we are still in a bear market. So rallies up towards this trend line have been uh, sold into uh, up towards the 15 to 200 moving average as well in minor rallies here as well um, and therefore it's probably uh, probably not too far-fetched to say uh, that we will see this market continue falling into 2023 as monetary policy um, will uh, not change um, economic um, data that was released today showed that the US economy was doing really well and far better than expected and therefore uh, the Fed will basically have um, have um, can, will continue its monetary policy with the quantitative tightening and increasing interest rates so while they increase interest rates well stocks will start, start to fall and so will in, uh, well, so will indices and therefore, we may see this market going lower before rallying and, and, and so on into 2023. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is also bearish. But there's not a lot of room to the downside before this market becomes oversold. And therefore, uh, it will probably take another minor rally before we see this market's market drop below the October lows. So let's look at the S&P 500. Very similar here. We have ten, we have had three major rallies up towards this trend line, and we have broken down um, in all of them. And therefore, uh, even though yesterday was a, a fairly good day, the day was horrible for the S&P 500, which is down roughly one and a half percent. Was down more than two percent at one point, getting fairly overstretched. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is also bearish, and there's a lot of more room to the downside for the S&P. So. Given that is the case, 50 moving average will most likely be resistant, 200 as well, and also this upper trend line. So we tested the 50 yesterday and then broke down today, and therefore we may see this market continue tumbling to the downside. So let's look at the Dow Jones, which has been doing far better uh, than uh, than uh, than the Nasdaq and the S&P 500, as this as the Dow Jones started to make lower highs and then stopped. So the last high here is higher than this, and therefore it looked more positive that we were continuing to go higher. And we may as well be going higher going uh, in the next few uh, weeks. Weeks. We do have a crossing here of the 15 to 200 moving average, and that is a, a bullish shine. And we also bounced it from the 200 moving average today. If we look at technical indi indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish. But uh, if uh, the Federal Reserve continues its uh, monetary policy, and uh, it, in the long term it will affect the, um, the real economy, uh, then we'll probably also see the Dow Jones uh, go lower, as we have seen for uh, the NASDAQ and the S&P. But at, the point, at this point, 50 and uh, 200 moving average especially are holding up and we are above the 200 moving average. So let's look at the European market and very similar here for the European market as we were in a downward channel that we basically broke out. So at this current stage, we also have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average, which it should be a bullish shine. We did break down today more than one and a half, one point three percent, and technical indicators, all of them are fairly bearish. But we need to break above uh, beneath the fifty and the two hundred moving average in order to go to test this uh, trend, line. trend line yet again. So if we break below here, then we may go a significant lower. But it's still looking far better for the DAX and the Dow Jones compared to the Nasdaq and the S P five hundred. So. That is to be seen. Uh, of course, there's uh, less liquidity in the market between uh, Christmas and New Year, and therefore this market may have some major, um, uh, basically major volatility 
uh, in the next few uh, trading days. So let's look at the, uh, the Nikkei, and the Nikkei just fell apart uh, today or the last uh, five trading days. And if we have it here, the Nikkei has traded between roughly 25k and 28-29k. So the highs roughly here, 29k. And at this point, we're reaching towards the lows. And the central bank in in, um, in Japan had the major um, the policy changes, and that's probably what kicked off this uh, bearish move to the downside. Uh, but ever since that, we have gotten close to the bottom here. We have seen uh, this market rally. So this is, this is um, when the war in Ukraine started. So it's kind of an outlier, but it has been fairly sideways for this market um, and the highs being 29 and the lows being roughly down here at 25 so we're approaching this uh, lower part if we break below here then we may see this market go significantly lower um, and if you look at the technical indicators they are fairly overstretched at this point if you look at rsi it's at 26 and that means that we're kind of oversold and therefore should see a uh, uh, rally before going if we go lower. MACD is bearish and stochastic is bearish as well. So let's look at the VIX. VIX really spiked to the upside today. It was up more than 8% at one point. It touched the 200 moving average and then gave most of those gains back. Uh, main reason is that we got significantly overstretched and it doesn't mean that we'll not go higher. Uh, this is a very um, this is a sign that the market is about to change. We saw a very similar move the last time we saw the VIX go uh, go, uh, go towards the 33 uh, range, and uh, uh, but we, it was a lot of ups and downs before we got there. But this jump here looks very, very similar to that jump there, and therefore we may see something similar to this before go, going higher. Also, the VIX has been uh, trending fairly sideways. So the lows being roughly 20 towards and the highs being roughly 34. And at this current stage, we were really close to the very bottom. We were roughly at 20, uh, the lows being 19, 19 here. And therefore, we are seeing this market going higher. And if the weeks goes higher, then uh, volatility will increase and, uh, and the fear in the market will also increase and uh, pessimism will start to rise and therefore people will most likely start to sell if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well so let's look at the 10 year so the 10 year has started to increase um if you look at all the way back for the beginning of 2022 then we have basically been on this fairly uh, bullish run and the 200 moving average and the 50 have both been significant um, support barriers. So we tested the 200 moving average here fairly three times and kind of you could basically say this in uh, very similar to the rallies of um, uh, both in, uh, in the SP and the NASDAQ. When this market basically drops, we see rallies. And when this market rallies, we see the drop in the NASDAQ and also in S&P 500 and, and, and forward. And then we have the minor uh, drops and rallies in the S&P. As this increases, uh, then then there's, a, there's basically a negative correlation between indices and stocks. Um, the same goes for, for the weeks. And at this point, we got really close to the 200 moving average and wouldn't be far-fetched if we broke above the 50 moving average in the next few uh, weeks or months and we go even higher as interest rates continue to rise. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish and RSI is also bullish and there's a lot of room to the upside. So I hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck.